Today, we are going to talk about puberty. <laughs> puberty is a funny sounding word, but all it means is when you change from a kid's body to an adult's body. Growing hair in places where you didn't have it before. Voice changing. No. No. Parts of your body growing bigger. Oh boy. Pimples. Yikes. Having stinky armpits. Ew, what's that smell? That's all part of puberty and it's normal. It's all caused from adult hormones being made in your body. Today, we are going to talk about some of the changes that happen during puberty Woo! so that you know what to expect and can help answer any questions you may already have. Let's start off with changes that both males and females get. First is growing taller. The biggest growth spurt of your life after you're a baby is during puberty. Woo! In middle school, you might notice that some people are way taller than others. And maybe you are self-conscious if you are short or tall. Puberty doesn't happen at the same time for everyone. So people that go through puberty first, grow first, and people that go through puberty later, grow later. I mean, not everyone is going to be six foot eight inches LeBron James height, but if you haven't grown yet, don't worry, you'll grow. Next is hair. Hair, hair, everywhere. During puberty, you start growing hair in places where you didn't have any before. Oh no. Boys and girls both get hair under their armpits, down there, around their genitals, which is the outside parts of the reproductive system and generally tend to get hairier legs and arms. Some boys also might start to get chest hair and facial hair, and some girls might get a little facial hair too. People come from all different countries and are all different colors. People from some countries and ethnic backgrounds tend to have more or less body hair than others. So if you feel you are too hairy, or not hairy enough, there's a wide range that is considered normal. During puberty, you'll also notice voice changes. And let the voice drop. Girls and boys get lower voices in puberty, but it is more noticeable in boys. No. No. Before your voice changes completely, you might notice it cracks. No, it doesn't! It can be embarrassing, but it's normal and becomes much less common after puberty. Next is body odor. Ew, what's that smell? During puberty, your body starts to smell, especially in places that are warm and a little sweaty, like your armpits and genital region. To help prevent being stinky, take showers regularly and use deodorant. Along with growing taller comes gaining weight. You might gain weight in some areas more than others and your body starts to have a different shape. Boys might notice their muscles growing larger, and girls might notice that their body is becoming curvier, like in your hips. Next up are pimples. During puberty, your hormone levels are changing. This triggers all the changes we've talked about and also causes pimples. There is a wide range of how many you can get. If you have a few pimples, they usually go away on their own. If you have more than a few, there are many things you can buy at the store that can help. But if that doesn't work, or you are concerned in any way, you can talk to a doctor. They have good advice and can give you other medications that you can't get at the store by yourself. Last but not least, your thoughts and feelings also change during puberty. You might feel confused, 
You may feel emotional. You might think about sex. You may wonder if you are normal. And you may wonder if you are different. So in review, you're gonna grow, you are going to gain weight, you are going to get hairier, your voice will change, you'll stink, you'll get zits, and your thoughts and feelings will change. I know, puberty sounds scary, but the more you know what to expect, the more prepared and confident you'll be when going through these changes. Now, let's go into specifics for boys and girls. First, let's talk about puberty for girls. The big things girls have to deal with that boys don't are breasts, periods, and vaginas. Breasts come in all different sizes, and it takes a few years until they are fully grown. Some girls might have breasts that are slightly different sizes. This is normal. Many girls also start wearing bras. Next are periods. As we talked about last video, periods are when the lining of the uterus that was used to cushion the egg sheds and heads out through the vagina. Every girl remembers her first period because it's traumatizing and annoying. No one likes having their period, and if you do, I'm sorry. They're not fun, but let's learn the important information about them so that you can have control over your periods and that so your periods don't control you. The science word for period is menstruation. And here are the important things you should know about it. On average, periods come about once a month and last anywhere from two to seven days. But when you first start getting your period, your body isn't quite used to all the adult hormones, so your periods may be irregular. Sometimes twice a month, maybe you skip a month, maybe your periods last only a day, or even more than eight. After a year or two, this should even out and your periods become more regular. Periods can be associated with cramps Ouch. and mood swings. Get away from me! But if you have really bad cramps that don't go away with medicine and really limit you from doing your normal stuff, don't be afraid to talk to a doctor. There are many things you can use during your period to absorb the blood and prevent it from staining your clothes. The first are pads. These are really easy to use and come in all different sizes for the amount of flow you have. And they are sticky on one side, so they stick to your underwear. Next are tampons. These are inserted into the vagina, and so are a little trickier to use the first few times you use them. It takes a little practice to insert them correctly, but there are directions on every package. Tampons also come in all different sizes depending on how much flow you have. Last are menstrual cups. These are less common, the most tricky to use, and it takes some practice to insert them correctly into the vagina. But they are the only option which can be reusable, which in the long run can save you a lot of money. Now, pads are great, but they won't protect you when you are swimming and can be uncomfortable while playing sports. Tampons and menstrual cups can be used for swimming, and can be more comfortable when playing sports. Finally, women have vaginas. And even when you're not having your period, you might notice some changes. During puberty, 
your vagina starts making clear or a slightly cloudy liquid that can be almost like water but can get pretty gooey. It can feel uncomfortable sometimes, but it's normal. However, if it starts to smell bad, have a different color, itch or burn, or become clumpy like cottage cheese, that's when you should see a doctor. And now, boys. Woo! Yeah! The big things boys have to deal with during puberty that girls don't are erections, wet dreams, and testicles. An erection is when your penis fills with blood, grows, and becomes hard. Erections can happen when you are thinking about sexual thoughts, but during puberty they can also happen randomly. For guys, this can be super embarrassing, but it's normal. As your body gets used to the hormones in puberty, random erections happen less and less. A wet dream is when you get an erection and then ejaculate when you are sleeping. Ejaculation is when semen, which is sperm and fluid, leaves the penis through the urethra. They are called wet dreams because you wake up after sleeping and feel some wetness from the ejaculation. You are not peeing in your pants. It is different. Wet dreams can be super embarrassing, but again, they are normal and they go away after puberty. You can't really prevent them, but for backup, if you are sleeping at a friend's house, you can always bring a change of underwear. Finally, boys have testicles. Testicles grow during puberty, and it's important to make sure they are healthy. If you do notice any new lumps or bumps, or anything painful or uncomfortable, it's important to see a doctor so they can check what is going on. Lastly, boys might get a little soreness and swelling around their nipples. It's normal to get that, and it goes away as you go through puberty. But again, if it is really bothering you, feel free to talk to a doctor. People start puberty at different times, sometimes as young as eight years old for girls. But if you haven't noticed any changes by 12 if you're a girl, and 14 if you're a boy, try to go see a doctor so they can check to see what's up. Puberty's not easy and it can be confusing, but we all go through it. Don't be afraid to ask questions at your doctors or school nurse or trusted adult. If you are stuck on what to say, try writing down your questions and concerns ahead of time and bring them with you to your appointment. Also, there is a lot of good information online to help answer your questions. And again, my favorite is kidshealth.org. Well, now that we covered the basics and puberty, Next time, we're going to talk about sex. Sex.